Python on Hardware News. We got a lot of stuff going on this week. There's so much stuff. We were just in our um, meeting. Uh, we do a remote team meeting with all of us before mm -hmm. our shows, and there's so much Python news, and that's what's been happening with um, the newsletter. So this week, just do, gonna do a couple highlights, and then I'm gonna pick one thing out yeah. that I think is kind of important. So we have the CircuitPython 7 Alpha 3 releases, 6.3.0 stable releases. Yes. Um, if you check it out, we got the new poster with uh, the, the MicroPython snake and the CircuitPython Blinka, Hang along out. with the keyboard there. Um, talked about the Raspberry Pi chips. The RP2040s are available for a dollar in single units. We also stock them. We have uh, packs of 10 as well. Pi RTOS um, for CircuitPython um, runs on the Metro M4. Um, I'm going to be talking about the switch from our repositories uh, to main shortly. Uh, we have a great interview with Armstrong, uh, who is on our show and tell, and we have posted the interview, uh, text interview, on our website. This is a Q&A, Programming with Microcontrollers, CircuitPython author, Armstrong. He's got Armstrong, a really cool Sabiro. story. Check it out. Yep. Um, check out some of the videos, uh, some of the news around the web. The uh, PyCon videos have all been posted. So uh, if you didn't make it to PyCon, um, virtually, you can watch it now. Um, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of keyboard related things. Um, the multipass, which is on our show and tell. Um, Minecraft controllers. Uh, you name it, it's happening with Python on hardware. Python in particular is becoming more and more popular. It'll probably end up being the number one programming language in the world um, as far as number of people using it. So we cover that news and a bunch of other things. But as you can tell, it's a never ending story about all the things that are going on with Python. And one of the best things about Python is the inclusive community. And that's what I'm going to talk about this week. So happy Pride Month, everybody. Yeah. Um, if you look really close in the back here, we have our flag. See, it's Yeah, we put right this there. up every year. Yeah. Well, last year we were yeah, well, broadcasting not from here, but it's, it's Yeah. Here. Last year, around this time, um, I would come in after our show, and then I would, uh, we had our, like, chemical suits that we were using the spray down for this thing. June, we, I think we we're still doing that at night. Yeah. Um, because surface vectors for a virus attack was unknown, so we're just like, well, let's make sure we sanitize everything all the time, always, forever. And we didn't get sick, so hopefully it worked out. So anyways, um, this month's Prime Month, and I think it's a good time to reflect on some stuff, but uh, most of all, if you're a technologist, there are some things you can do to be inclusive, to get rid of some old language that doesn't make sense anymore, um, and also to understand where other people are coming from. So, the thing that we worked on, and we've been doing this for a bit across different things, is there's an old term, and it's derived from BitKeeper, master and slave for uh, repos, repositories of software, and you can change it to main. And mm. GitHub and Microsoft made a big announcement. We're going to make it easy for you. We're going to do this. Yes, it's actually like a one-click thing in GitHub as well. By that's way. right. And um, that was something that's really important to us, important to our team. And if you're a technologist, you can do this. And if you're an open source community like we are, it reflects poorly if you ignore something that people really want. So um, the neat thing that's happening is it's working. So um, we're on main. There's a lot of other organizations on main. The day that we did our post about this with all the resources on mm -hmm. how to do it on some of the other efforts. Make posted up. Mosi and Miso, 140 years of wrong. So Make is changing the language for their magazine with these things as well, including what the pin stand for. Mm -hmm. There's lots of efforts in Oshawa and more. And then after we did Master of the Main, that night, SparkFun changed theirs, 1038. They went from Master to Main. Then within a week, Arduino went from master to main. So if you look at our post, there is a lot of organizations. And I just started finding some logos really quick. So about 80% of the open source hardware now, when you add Adafruit and SparkFun, have made that switch. And Arduino, too. The Software Conservatory, um, they do Git, and they have that as a default. Yep. Um, Python Foundation is the ones that kind of got us all to, or one of the ones that said, hey, this is important. We can do this. Um, make is changing their language. The Linux kernel also changed yep. it. Red Hat, going yep. across all of the Linuxy stuff that they touch and more. So this is happening. And I really think that if you're someone who maintains repositories, it's, it's something, yes, it's a little bit of work, but you can do it. And I know that there's this idea that, well, does it really matter? Does it solve things? No, it's a drop. But get enough drops, you got a notion. 
that's the type of change that we can do and as technologists. And also remind people that when they are naming things going forward, like, let's think about the language we use, right? Yeah. Because it's like, just because we've had a long history of using certain words and they come up over and over again, like, the GitHub naming came from BitKeeper. And the, the BitKeeper guy said, oh, I got it from something else. Like, it, it becomes a viral decision. And so yeah. if, you, if you break the chain now, uh, we can keep people from using these same words over and over again, come up with better, more descriptive names that and, make more sense. And I'll just say this because, like, Lady and I get really crummy emails from people who don't like rainbows, don't like equality, um, you know, we're easy to get a hold of. And I think one of the things is they themselves can't imagine why it's a big deal, but they don't work or work at a place with diversity or they don't know other people that have different backgrounds. And so they can't imagine it, but it's a simple thing that you could do if you're a technologist. And Part of a bigger amount of work that you yeah. do. This isn't the only thing yeah, you're Yeah, it's do. more than a hashtag. It's more than just like, I care. It's something that we can all do. But you start with this. Yeah. We and all build on that. We all have little things that we can do, and if you do something every day, eventually there could be good change. So that is the Python on Hardware News this week. Thank you, Blinka.